2001 Honda Odyssey, the V6 engine. It only has about 70, 80,000 miles. Transmission went out. As you can see, it's a lot of work, a lot of disassembling. See the subframe has to be dropped. This is down there. This is being held up by a screw jack, the engine, with the front engine mount attached. The steering stays installed. The axles, both axles must come out. Here's the old transmission that is slipping like crazy. And the new one I'm putting in. Put some grease, the purple grease, on some of the uh, points so it'll go in easier. That's what she said. Anyways, it is a major pain. Drop the exhaust, subframe. A lot of bolts come out. Intake. It's about a nine hour job. To keep this from happening to you, spending thousands of dollars, buy an external cooler. This is a kit that I'm going to install, a Hayden OC1679. You must not, you disconnect the transmission lines. These guys right here. There's two of them. They go to the radiator. Those don't go to the radiator anymore. They're going to go straight from these two ports in here. And they're going to go into this cooler. It's going to be mounted in the front of the car right here. And it has to be one inch higher or away from the condenser so the heat doesn't transfer from the condenser to the cooler. This will keep your Honda transmission happy for years to come. The factory doesn't provide enough cooling for the transmission, so the transmission will prematurely fail. So, unless you want to pull out the subframe of your car, and the suspension, and the axles, and the exhaust, and the intake, and half the wiring, and to get to the transmission, I would highly suggest changing the fluid regularly, at least I would say on hard use, 30,000 miles. Uh, change the fluid and definitely immediately install the cooler. That will provide years of use without trouble. Or if you don't do that, you can always pay me or some other qualified Honda slash whatever technician to change this for you. Enjoy your Honda! Japanese engineering at its finest.